Look in the box. There it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Incredible Science. Today I have something cool to show you and it is something you have to do right now. The solar eclipse, if you're in the United States, the solar eclipse is happening tomorrow, Monday, August 21st, between like 1 and 4 p.m., depending on where you are, you're gonna have a different level of eclipse, meaning some of it will be shaded, maybe the entire sun will be covered, but you have to look at a map online to see exactly where your location will be covered, how much will be covered. I'll put the link in the description below so you could see if you're in the United States, you could type in your city and state and, or zip code and see exactly how much will be covered. But you must be careful. Actually, these are the wrong glasses for this video. Let me switch it. Much better. Now, I cannot see a thing out of these glasses. These are solar eclipse glasses that I bought on Amazon about a month ago for 20 bucks. You get 20 of them. And now they're like over a hundred. People are, are literally like just raising the prices on these because you cannot get them. But even so, you have to be so careful when buying these glasses. These glasses will allow you to see nothing else other than just the sun when you look up at it. So that these are safe to look at the sun with. Now, there are just only like two or three companies that have been certified by the whoever certifies these glasses, whether it's NASA or the certified transmission requirements, requirements for ISO, I don't know, but look here, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. It has like that whole certification because a lot of them are just not made to look at the sun officially. They're not good for your eyes. Now these solar rays that are gonna be coming, they're super strong and if you look at them with your eyes without having protective shades on, they could burn your retina. They could seriously cause damage to your eyes. So you must be careful and wear approved glasses. And even then, you just don't know if they're like legit, if they're official or if they're counterfeit or not. So I have a solution for you. I'm gonna show you how you can build an awesome way to see the solar eclipse without risking your eyes at all. And all it takes is an empty cereal box. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make a solar eclipse viewer out of a cereal box. You'll get to enjoy some cereal in the process and then just take the empty box and I'll show you how to do it. So we're gonna make this right now and then we're gonna head outside and see if they could actually get to work today, a day before the eclipse. It's sunny outside and we'll see if we can put this to the test. Let me show you how to make it. It's really simple, but also guys, I wanna do some shout outs. If you wanna shout out in tomorrow's video, be one of the first three people to type hashtag shout out and I will shout you out in tomorrow's video on Solar Eclipse Day video. Let's do some shout outs for the last video. Shout out goes to Eric Trebet. hope I pronounced it right, Lauren Yunk. Shout out goes to Christopher Manessis, Jing Kang, Kadiong Paul, Kyra Scott, and Flame Rage 956, and Muhammad Arib Khan, and last but not least, Isaac Treo. So, again, if you want a shout out, type hashtag shout out. Subscribe to my channel, guys. We're getting close to 800,000 subscribers. Gonna be massive giveaways when we do hit 800,000 and then 900,000 and then a million. But right now, let's get to building our solar eclipse viewer. All right, guys, so let me show you how to make your solar eclipse viewer box. And all you need, an empty cereal box, scissors or a razor. I couldn't find my scissors, so I'll just use a razor, some scotch tape, piece of paper, and some aluminum foil. Now, all you have to do is take your cereal box right here and trace out the correct size of paper that you're gonna need. And then we're just gonna cut out this piece of paper and place it on the bottom of the box. See, this is the paper we're gonna cut out. So, just take a pair of scissors, like I said, or a razor. Just, I have a piece of paper here, just like that. Now, just take a piece of tape, then open up your cereal box, Take the piece of paper, stuff it all the way down onto the, into the bottom of the box so that it's just in there. So now the bottom of the box is white. Now the last thing you need to do guys is just cut out parts of the cereal box, like so. Watch. It'll be a lot easier. Here's one. 
Now we're almost done. We just have one thing left to do, and that is take a piece of tin foil and put it over one end of the holes we just made. Cut off, just rip off the extra piece of tin foil that you don't need, and fold it over like that. Now you're almost done, almost finished. Last step, take a nail or a pen and just poke a hole in the tin foil and that's where the sun is gonna get in. This side right here is what you're gonna look through and that's where the sun is gonna enter. So we're gonna go to the beach now actually, test it out on a bright sunny day and see if it actually work and then tomorrow, you'll have your solar eclipse viewer box. The sun is gonna enter in there. You're gonna look right in there, so the sun's gonna be behind you so that the sun's rays can go in that hole. You're gonna be looking at it like that. Your eyes will be completely safe, and you should see the eclipse happening in the cereal box. Let's head to the beach now. And here we are guys, we made it. We're at Coney Island, the iconic That's Coney Island. This is our place, I proposed right there to her. Right CJ? Well you, you weren't there yet. But anyway, we are here, we're gonna check out the beach, check out that cool roller coaster over there that CJ loves watching. But let me show you how this solar viewer works. I'm gonna put it on, we're gonna point it at the sun and I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside the box so that you can know what it will look like tomorrow if you build one and aim it at the sun. But let me show you what the glasses look like so here are solar glasses that you could actually wear these are the glasses I was showing you earlier let's aim it at the Sun and see what it's gonna look like I'll put it over the camera and see if we could see it ready right now you're gonna see nothing because it blocks out everything but if I aim it at the Sun look at that guys you only see just the orange bowl here is without it and here it is with it there it is. That is with the glasses, and that is without the glasses. With the glasses, where is it? And without. And without. Alright, now, that is, you know, that's good with glasses, but again, if you don't want to risk the glasses, you just make the cereal box one. So here's how you do it. You have to get the sun right behind you. So you have to aim the box so that the sun hits the hole where you put in the silver foil. Make sure it's really round. Mine didn't come out so round, so make sure we make the hole in the silver foil that it's really round. So make sure the sun's rays is going in and then just look through like that. And you should see the sun and the eclipse happening. Look, let me show you guys. See it is? See it? There it is, guys. On the bottom of the paper, there it is. There, there it is, guys, right there. I have it aimed perfectly, as you see right here. The sun is behind me. The sun ray is going in through there, and if you look in the box, there it is. Now tomorrow, guys, now tomorrow, that little ball on the bottom is going to be covered up by the moon. So you're going to see it changing and you don't have to worry about looking directly at the sun. That's how you make a solar eclipse viewer. Now who wants to have fun at the beach? Are you ready? He is staring at that roller coaster. You want to go check out the roller coaster? Yeah, let's do it. Oh,